I'm Professor Carl Hennigan from the University of Oxford, where I also direct the Centre for Evidence-Based Medicine. Show more spiners. Stand up, be informed, engage, and get out there and say the message of what the evidence is, communicate the evidence to a wider audience. Yeah, well, the major role is um, in the centre, we actually do all the organisation and underpin the conference. So about three years ago, the first one was in Dartmouth, then it came to Oxford. We were asked to sort of take over the running and somehow now as a board member, we're sort of there at the centre of making sure this conference happens each year. Well, I think a big area is the health checks, actually. I'll be talking about that in my talk today. But I think it goes to a wider problem, and this is going to be in the crux of my talk. If you look at the way we present test information, most of it assumes you're going to have the test. And so it's all about what to do when you get a positive and negative test. But actually what we should be thinking about is actually giving more information before you decide to test. And that's a crucial issue because most people are not test ready. Doctors are not ready to inform people. Most patients wouldn't even understand what we were on about. We're going to consign you to a test. We might not know what to do once you get the answer back. We're not quite sure how long the treatments work for. It seems to make sense that, okay, when you get older, your risk increases. So what we should do then he say to you, we're going to test you and then we're going to try and make you healthier in some way and we're going to help you live a healthy lifestyle. But the problem with that approach is you get into a, into a real mess really quickly because the evidence shows if you start to go into people in the mid-40s, give them health checks, there are no benefits in terms of reduced morbidity or mortality. But once you're in, it's a bit like you're in because once you're in the testing, then what do you do? If you've got a negative test, well, you need to come back. If you've got a positive test, we're not quite sure how to help you interpret that. And then when you look at some of the interventions that are supposed to help you, a classic example might be, we're going to help you reduce weight. Well, actually, most of the interventions that we use don't actually apply to the population at large. They only apply to a very small select portion of the people. So the key problem is we're spending more and more money on interventions that help, don't help people. They often get to the wrong people. They don't get to the people out there who are the disadvantaged, the people smoking, the people who are really overweight. They tend to go to a small and narrow people who are already the health conscious people. And that's a huge issue for adding in costs. Every time you add in a test on somebody, you're also committing them to lifelong testing. So you're adding in extra work. And then health services come back to me and say, we can't cope. So we're not really thinking correctly about what we're doing when it comes to health screening, health testing, and the problems that they emerge.